Sometimes a lie is a good thing. A lie to impact others, though, can just as easily be cruel. The history of lying. Now, I will confess, uh, at first I thought it was a pain to teach Professor Moynihan's class on top of doing his clerical work. But I'm enjoying having my own course. You're a delight. Your alibis give the Liars Club a run for their money. I mean, honestly, there were maybe two believable alibis. And a perfect segue into our next lecture. The definition of the storied life of the lie. What is a lie? The generally accepted definition is that it is an intentionally told untruth. To lie, you must aim to make someone believe something untrue, which you yourself believe to be false. In plain language, you have to know you're lying and you have to want to trick someone. But why do that? Why do we lie in the first place? If we need the truth to keep civilization from crumbling down into the ocean, isn't lying self-defeating? Back in the 90s, Bela de Paulo did a study in which 147 people self-reported lying one or two times every day. Most everyday lies are harmless, little white lies told to spare somebody else's feelings. You wouldn't tell this woman that her hat was hideous. That would be unkind, though true. By lying, you have protected yourself from an awkward social interaction. You've also chosen not to embarrass her, protecting her sense of self. By the by, even the most honest people know there's such a thing as too much truth. Preferring not to use white lies is known academically as truth dumping. A truth dumper says everything and anything that pops into their heads then protests, I'm just being honest. It's just my opinion. I'm sure you've all seen them in the comment sections. So sometimes a lie is a good thing. A lie to impact others, though, can just as easily be cruel. We might not all be Regina George with a keen instinct for malice, but I'm sure some of us have lied to take someone else down a peg. And what about making yourself look good in front of others? Self-promotion can have a range of motivations. Lying for financial gain. Lying for personal advantage, other than money. Lying to make ourselves look good. And most endearingly, lying to make people laugh. Who hasn't made themselves look better on a date by telling a not entirely true anecdote? Hmm? Or said they're capable with Excel spreadsheets in an interview when they've never even touched the program? But what about lies where you say something impulsively, thoughtlessly, without clear intent? What about the people who lie automatically? The people who lie compulsively, consistently, with nothing to gain from it are lying pathologically. And I think we all know at least one person who is a pathological liar. So we know why we lie individually. Why do we lie as a species? Well, here's a fun fact. Little kids will start to lie at around the age of three. They're not good at it, but they improve throughout childhood. I actually got interested in lying because I volunteered at an elementary school. <laughs> Look, I know I'm not exactly Mr. Rogers, but I enjoy my work. And I was surprised and fascinated by the extravagant lies kids told. I found out that lying is actually a huge part of childhood development. I mean, kids become more empathetic when they try to guess how many people are going to respond to their lies. Also, they learn organization and control, and this is called theory of mind. In fact, kids who are better liars, they were better students. So, why is lying so important to brain development? Some scientists believe that, like beautiful feathers, deception is a product of evolution. If you're good at lying, 
You can get what you want without resorting to physical violence. Liars survive longer and pass down the lying gene. It's also true that people don't risk big lies. Of the reasons people lie, there are very few that rock the social boat. People learn from the community about the society's ethical boundaries and they don't tend to push them. They keep themselves to socially acceptable sins. For instance, I heard from a very reliable source that there was a birthday at a sorority. People took a bottle or two of beer back to their dorms, but everybody was doing it, no big deal. However, when someone made off with an unopened bottle of vodka, there was outrage. There are levels, people. As you can see, everyone has a criminal instinct. It's not so much that lying is acceptable as much as it is inevitable. Lying is such an ingrained part of human society that I mean, we should change the name of the course from the history of lying to just history. <laughs> yes. There are, of course, the, the big lies, the, the memorable ones, the, the Trojan horses. The Greeks bought a gift to their enemies, the Trojans, and hid inside them just to leap out at night and slaughter them. Joseph Stalin rewrote history to suit his political interests. I mean, <laughs> talk about the history of lying. I mean, the history in the Soviet Union was just a history of lies. I mean, he even removed people he no longer considered allies from official photos. I mean, and that's not even taking into consideration the con artists who shaped history. <laughs> I mean, the largest and most famous Ponzi scheme was carried out by Bernie Madoff. I think you might have heard of him. His whole firm was a lie, and in 2009, he pled guilty to 11 federal felonies and admitted to defrauding about 50 billion dollars from investors? I mean, that's why everybody's so excited about cuff technology. You never know what people may actually be thinking. Speaking of secrets, you'll love what we have in store for the seminar group. I wonder how many of them will decide that it's acceptable to lie by cheating on a test. That's right, you know something they don't. There's going to be a pop quiz for our Liars Club. What will they do when they're backed into a corner? Meanwhile, I'll be getting ready for Cuff's arrival. I feel like a big brother, already getting upstaged by a baby. All right, class, head to the Google Classroom. I know we've been discussing lies, but I actually want to know a truth. One truth that you've never told another soul. And just as before, I can guarantee that you'll get something more rewarding than an A for your hard work. And don't lie, I can always tell. <laughs>